Well, welcome to another great edition of the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Gatling and Gino Fronti. Check out the hipster over here, man. Hey, I was told to be a little more casual, so I took it seriously. <laughs> All right, so you know we're just your friends giving you updates on a daily basis of what's really happening in the real estate and stock markets and so much more. Today we're going to touch on something a little different today, huh? That T back. Yeah, touch <laughs> is kind of a bad word because people are still touchy about this subject. But the reality is they're a necessary part of the mortgage market. And what we're talking about today is subprime mortgages. Oh, well, oh. sorry. They're called non-prime this time around. I don't know. Everybody calls them <laughs> subprime. Let's go to this first slide here. All right. As you're going to see, they're back. You know, subprime mortgages became very popular, and everybody thinks, what is a subprime mortgage? Basically, it's a mortgage for those who don't fit in the small box. There's this tiny box that most of us fit in depending on credit score, income requirements, asset requirements, debt-to-income requirements, and so forth. But then some of us have had, you know, either setbacks or self-employed or other reasons why it's very difficult to get back into the mortgage market. I know you've heard this before, but this time it's different, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Usually what happened the last go around was subprime was for those with bad credit. And although that still exists today, it's more about those that can't prove their income in a traditional manner today. Right. That's what subprime mortgages are today. It's for those that don't... Uh, pay as much taxes as the government would like you to, for lack of a better term. And there we go. Or they're helping, uh, it's capitalism, you know, it, it helps grow America. <laughs> and yeah, they're creating I mean, jobs. That's the thing too, is the reality is our underwriting guidelines, as you mentioned, are so tight that they don't allow for self-employed business people. Let's just say, for example, you're a successful self-employed business person and you open a new office this year. Well, you had a lot of expenses. Does that mean that you don't ha can't pay your mortgage? No, that means that this year you had ex extraordinary expenses because you opened a new branch. Well, that year you wouldn't be able to qualify for a mortgage. Is that fair? No, not necessarily. And that's why these alternative products are coming to market. And the alternative products, basically, it's all based on risk. Is the interest rate a little higher? Is the down payment requirements a little higher? Yes. But it gives you an opportunity to at least get into home, and you're proving that you're uh, uh, able to get into home based on basically the amount of equity that you're giving the lender to offset the risk plus the higher interest rate. Yeah, I'm gonna call this old school lending. Before Fannie Mae, Freddie yeah. Mac, and automated underwriting systems existed, this is how decisions were made at your local bank. If they trusted you and you were a respectful citizen and you seemed like a good risk, you'd shake hands and you'd walk out with a loan. And you put down 50% at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of these are at least 30% down. We're not doing 100% subprime mortgages with people that haven't made a mortgage payment in six months. That's none of that craziness is around, mm -hmm. but they are re-emerging. All right, last slide here. Bottom line is, it's basically we're getting support that, yes, the subprime lending is back. Or like you said, non-prime lending, whatever you want to talk it. Uh, it. It died pretty much um, up until 2013. It's been coming back a little bit. We have a big resurgence. But it's at least enabling us to offer a lot of you the opportunity to get into a home. So you should look into it okay. if you didn't think you could. And you heard it here first. If we deregulate and two letters come out of the Dodd-Frank Act, QM, go away. If yeah. those go away, you're going to see a lot more non-prime lending. You're going to see this market loosen up. All right. So right here on the National Real Estate KFA, letting you know that there are ways for you, your friends, people you know, to get into a home because there's nothing like home ownership. I think we're like, oh, we're going to share later. We're way down a list on percentage of homeowners here in the U.S., and yeah. we'll share that later. It's pretty sad, but check this out. Every single day on your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885, or check out our website at nrecafe.com.